What is the difference between CFW and HIN? CFW, Custom Firmware, and HEN, Homebrew Enabler, are two different methods used to modify gaming consoles like the PlayStation 3, PS3. Here's a breakdown of the differences between the two. Custom Firmware, CFW. CFW involves replacing the entire operating system, firmware, of the console with a custom version. It allows for deeper system modifications and enhancements compared to HEN. Once installed, CFW typically offers more features and functionalities, such as running in signed code, playing backup copies of games, and accessing additional system settings. CFW installations are more complex and may involve some level of risk, such as potentially voiding warranties and risking console bans from online services. Homebrew Enabler HEN HEN is a method used to enable homebrew applications and other inside software to run on a console without replacing the entire firmware. It typically involves exploiting vulnerabilities in the console's firmware to allow unsigned code execution. HIN is often less intrusive than CFW since it doesn't replace the entire firmware. Instead, it's a temporary modification that can be activated or deactivated as needed. While HEN may offer some homebrew functionality and limited access to additional features, it's usually more limited compared to CFW. In summary, CFW provides a more extensive modification of the console's firmware, offering additional features and functionalities but carrying higher risks and complexities. On the other hand, HEN offers a less intrusive method to run homebrew applications and in sign code, with fewer features but generally lower risks and complexities. Ultimately, the choice between CFW and HEN depends on the user's preferences, technical expertise, and risk tolerance. What's PS3 EvilNAT 4.91 CFW? CFW, custom firmware, EvilNAT 4.91 refers to a modified version of the PlayStation 3's operating system software created by a developer known as EvilNAT. Custom firmware allows users to modify their gaming consoles beyond what the official firmware allows, enabling features like running homebrew applications, playing backup copies of games, or accessing additional functionalities not provided by the original firmware. However, it's important to note that using custom firmware can void warranties, violate terms of service, and potentially lead to console bans from online services. Additionally, installing custom firmware carries certain risks, including the possibility of damaging your console if not done correctly. In which PS3 can I install CFW? The ability to install custom firmware, CFW, on a PlayStation 3, PS3, depends on the model and the firmware version it's currently running. Generally, earlier models of the PS3 are more compatible with custom firmware installation compared to later models. Here's a general overview. Fat PS3 Models Original PS3 The early FAT models of the PS3, particularly those released before the Czech 3000 series, are generally more compatible with custom firmware. Models like the Tsacha, CCHB, CCHC, CCHG, and CCHH are some examples of FAT PS3 models that can often be compatible with custom firmware installation. Slim PS3 Models Some early slim models of the PS3 are compatible with custom firmware, though compatibility varies. Examples of slim models that are sometimes compatible with custom firmware include the Czech 20XX and Czech 21XX series. Again, this depends on the firmware version and other factors. Super Slim PS3 Models The Super Slim PS3 models, Czech 40XX series and later, are generally not compatible with custom firmware due to hardware and firmware changes made by Sony. As of my last update, there have been no reliable methods to install custom firmware on Super Slim PS3 models. It's important to note that attempting to install custom firmware on a PS3 carries risks, including the potential to damage the console and void warranties. Additionally, installing custom firmware may violate the terms of service of Sony and could lead to consequences such as being banned from online services. Before attempting to install custom firmware, it's essential to thoroughly research compatibility, methods, 
and associated risks. Websites and forums dedicated to PS3 homebrew and hacking communities may provide more specific and up-to-date information on custom firmware installation for different PS3 models.